Hi, my name is Bob Bentley. We're here at CRU Inc. I'm the principal hardware engineer and would like to talk to you today about one of our new products, the Dataport 41. Come on in and we'll demonstrate its operation. Hi, we're here in the engineering lab and I'd like to show, our, show you our new product. This is our Dataport 41. This particular unit has four removable bays. The bays are numbered one, two, three, four. Each of them housing up to a, a 15 millimeter, 15.4 millimeter, two and a half inch drive. It can be either a SATA or a SAS drive. To insert a drive, you push it in, align it, push down and in, and it latches. So the, the latch mechanism for the key pops out when it's latched in. So to lock a bay, you insert the key, just make sure that it's flush, but don't try to put any extra pressure on it and rotate it counterclockwise. And therefore the bay is locked in. You can't lift the handle on it. And then to eject it, move it to the vertical position and push it in and then remove the drive. Each of the bays are independent so as you plug them in they will power on and as the bay powers up there are independent LEDs for each of the bays power and activity. So green means the bay is plugged in and active and is good the amber means that it's being accessed. The overall unit LED is over here in the corner, in this right corner. And then uh, on the left corner is our fan fail LED, which turns red if your fans stop or if there are no drives installed. The drives can show up in your device manager and are each can individually be accessed if you have it set up in what is called a JBOD mode or just a bunch of disks, or this can be connected to a RAID controller where you can have it be RAID 0, RAID 10, or even RAID 5 for redundancy and data protection. And so this is the rear of the unit, and as you can see, there are serial ATA data connectors, and it starts with HDD 1, 2, 3, and 4. And there are two power connectors that are the 50 pin, 15 pin serial ATA that receive uh, 5 volts, 12 volts, and ground. And that's how you can support either SATA or SAS drives. The error connector here is used for a host card or if you want to uh, have a controller that you want to identify each of the bays uh, uniquely you can uh, hook up a cable and to indicate that you have a bad slot or how to identify a slot you can change the color of the green LED to red. The two fans on here are 40 millimeter fans uh, that provide uh, airflow if there are is there one or more of the drives installed in the bays. So and this unit is pretty rugged there are side mounting um, holes for installation in a standard five and a quarter inch CD or optical drive bay. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell.